And now I will turn to our commission co-chairs, um, Alice Rivlin and Mark McClellan, to any closing remarks and, and next steps that you might want to share with the audience. Um, well, first of all, I just want to thank again all of our panelists today and uh, the commissioners who have uh, clearly put a lot of thought into the uh, work so far. We've had a chance to meet um, uh, as a commission together in person once beginning last night. We have more deliberations ahead. The, uh, uh, the tough news for us is that we're on a very tight timetable. The good news for us is that we've got an awful lot of very effective input to help us do our job. Um, I uh, was particularly impressed by the number of models around the country that are actually uh, solving some of these problems of early childhood education, community development with an overall focus on improving health. Uh, we clearly have a long way to go in scale and clearly have a long way to go in terms of redirecting uh, resources effectively, but I heard a lot of good ideas about how we can get there. Uh, also like the uh, uh, good idea at the end, I think from David, about uh, uh, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation continuing to be a champion uh, for this effort, and I can uh, promise you, uh, David, that will definitely factor into our recommendations. So uh, uh, thank you all. <laughs> Uh, let me add my voice to all of what Mark has said, uh, but uh, let me uh, throw the challenge out a little further beyond the commission. Uh, we've heard a lot. We will uh, do everything we can to write a good report that will be helpful uh, and make uh, sensible recommendations, but this audience is not a random group of people. And uh, the uh, audience uh, listening uh, or uh, watching online isn't either. If everybody in this room picks up on what can I do to make communities healthier uh, and, and everyone outside the room, uh, we might start something. Thank you. <laughs>